The Medical College of Wisconsin is a standalone private medical school located about 20 minutes away from downtown Milwaukee, 60 miles north of uh, Chicago on Lake Michigan. Historically, the emphasis of the department has been on clinical service and uh, teaching, but uh, there is a new emphasis being placed at the institution uh, across the leadership for promoting translational research at the Medical College of Wisconsin. And uh, to support that mission, the department has had to come up with a creative way of addressing um, how to promote translational research among our faculty. The concept of the creation of a centralized facility for translational research that will be open to all our faculty and residents and, and members of the department is the vehicle that we have chosen to utilize to further our academic mission at the Medical College of Wisconsin. The core lab was developed based on the premise that we as a department need to invest in promoting the professional development of our faculty. We decided that the department needed to invest its clinical dollars in funding this type of a facility that would promote translational research and help our faculty members be more productive and participate in scholarly work. The core lab in the Department of Pathology has two main functions. The first is it was designed to be a facility where faculty and residents in the pathology department could pursue their academic interest through research projects. And the second main mission of the core lab is to set up and offer clinical molecular diagnostic testing for patients who come to the medical college for treatment. The core lab is a critical piece of academic infrastructure. It's a resource that provides both technical as well as intellectual support for the academic development of both our faculty and our residents. One aspect of the core lab which is I think particularly appealing is the fact that it's open to all faculty and residents not only within our department but at the medical college in general and one way that we help to fund this type of activity is by taking some of the clinical revenue that the department generates each year and reinvesting it into the lab the nice thing about this is it allows people who don't necessarily have their own grant or own research space to still have access to these facilities and therefore they are able to advance their own academic careers or their own intellectual interest. I think that's a particularly nice feature that gives open access to everyone. The Core Lab was created about a year and a half ago and since then we have started some research projects that are already giving some in interesting results. I personally work uh, closely with uh, orthopedic surgery and uh, radiation oncology uh, since my particular interest is in uh, bone and soft tissue sarcomas, but uh, other departments uh, also collaborate with, uh, with uh, faculty members who have interest in other areas. The Kansas Center and Pasadena Department interact in many areas. Uh, one major one is the use of the molecular pathology service laboratory in support of clinical trials. We are proposing uh, to do large collaborative research uh, to have a proposal submitted to the National Institute of Health on lung cancer research and also on pancreatic cancer research. What the Core Lab brings to our department is that instead of relying on a clinical laboratory for support for research efforts for which a clinical laboratory is not essentially designed. We have a facility that, is, that exists to support our academic development and research efforts. Most of our residents are engaged in research projects with faculty and they present many of those at a variety of major national meetings. So for example, last year in 2011, over half of our residents uh, took abstracts to the USCAP meeting alone and presented them as first author. Today's academic clinicians have a difficult time uh, competing for funding for their research efforts. What is unique about this department is that we are taking clinical revenues and reinvesting them into the generators of those revenues. Translational research describes efforts aimed to develop new therapies or treatment protocols for patients. This type of research builds upon discoveries made in the basic sciences 
but differs in that it is clinically focused research with a clinical goal or target in mind. So translational research I think is one of the most important changes that is uh, there in the medical profession and for academic health centers now. Um, we really are focusing on how can we take the research that we're doing and have an immediate impact on patient care to improve patients' lives. And certainly in pathology, that's an area that it makes a lot of sense to incorporate translational research, and this department um, is leading the way in many respects. I think what we're always looking forward to at the Medical College of Wisconsin is really being at the forefront of all of our missions. And the Department of Pathology is a good example of a department that's doing that. 